Hey, what's up guys? John with RussellMarineProducts.com and today we're going to show you how to source sonar information between helix units using your one boat network. All right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to pull up our network tab and we're going to do that by accessing our main menu. Press the menu button twice and we're going to scroll all the way over to the right to our network tab and then we're going to scroll down to the network source setup. If you guys have sourced your GPS information, this process is going to be very similar, but we'll go ahead and go over it for you. Now we've got our network source setup menu here and you can see that we have an option to source 2D, down imaging, side imaging, temperature and GPS information through this menu. And uh, we'll just go over and you'll be able to see that we've got the 2D option selected here and we're currently sourcing our 2D from this unit. So when we pull up our 2D screen, we're going to be viewing the information uh, from the transducer that's directly plugged into this unit. If for some reason we wanted to source the 2D information from another unit on the boat, we can select that here. So we can just scroll down and select the Helix 12. Check that box over there. This is under the 2D tab. And now whenever you pull up your 2D information, you're going to be viewing the, the return that you're getting from the transom mounted transducer. So if you want to do that with your down imaging or side imaging, it's going to be the exact same process. The side imaging function may be a little bit more useful in this scenario because this is a down imaging unit. But even though this is a down imaging unit, we can actually source side imaging through the network from a compatible device. So even though this unit is not capable of running side imaging on its own, we can pull it through the one boat network. And to do that, we just scroll over to the SI tab and then we're going to go down and we're going to select the Helix 12 as the side imaging option. So now when we back out of this screen, we scroll through our views tab uh, or through our views tabs and we have our side imaging screen pop up here. This information is coming from the transom mounted transducer. So, uh, that is a handy function to have, and if you want to source your uh, if you want to source your Mega Live or your Mega 360 information, it's going to be the exact same way. So just like we saw the 2D, the down imaging, and the side imaging option on our network tab, you'll see options for Mega Live and Mega 360 there as well. So this is something that you guys can do right out of the box with your Humminbird one boat network. All this is going to require is either an ethernet connection between two units or an ethernet connection through the five port switch with multiple units. And uh, we've gone over how to do that here. If you guys have any more questions about this, you can put that down in the comment section below or feel free to call us at 316-313. 4113 or shoot us an email over at sales at russellmarineproducts.com. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. Are you tired of your old marine electronics? At RP, we make trade in easy. Three steps. Step one, shoot us an email, get a quote. Step two, send us your old unit and get credit. Step three, get your brand new unit and get it installed on your boat today.